Nationalist Spain, just so I've gotten this correct, they won't be able to join the Axis ever, or...? Well, currently they are unwilling. Unwilling? Join us. And why is that? Be you said previously because of civil war, but like, what does that mean? Like, why Yeah, there was that? a limiting factor before that they had like a, a modifier that disallowed them from joining. But, but now they are able insane. to join. No, oh. do you, but like it was just a time limit, as in okay. you know we need to recover, so we're not able to join in any conflict, which seems reasonable. Okay, but now they yeah. are able to join, but they are unwilling to. I still think that's a little bit like some like suddenly it's limiting for a country because if if you put a limit on Spain not being able to like, then you should have like that for like those sort of modifiers for more encounters, like probably or like um, scenarios. Uh, I can't really think of any right now, but it just seems like, uh, you know, it wasn't that far off that Nationalist Spain actually did join the Axis. I mean, it didn't happen, but it's not like it would have been like, oh, unthinkable or something. Uh, uh, Hitler mean, I, 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 did his best. I don't know, and I don't know enough about Nationalist Spain to, to say whether that's the case or not. But mm. However, they are 60 points positive and minus 70 negative also, or well, minus 70 points. Okay. Uh, so in total, we just need to increase the, you know, by eleven basically, to be allowed. Yeah. And so I I started to improve our relations with them. Perhaps that will that will help out. I think How? that the whole division thing, by the way, is a little bit bugged because I thought I was looking at Liberia before, and I thought I saw twenty Swedish divisions, but it turns out that it's only four or something. But it's like four under. I don't really get, like, when is it under a Swedish flag and when is it, like... Is it because of the general's skill or something that it's sorted under? I don't know, really. Okay. I mean... Uh, maybe I... <laughs> you know, not the best explanation I provided either, but still. Um, okay, fair enough. I mean, the thing is, the, the amount of divisions is correct anyway, so I guess that's the important thing. Just, you know, just that the flags aren't always very... Uh, well, it just happened to be accurate. them that... that ended up being the face outwards for, for, for it, I don't know, I really don't know. Yeah. But I, either way, you know, if it, it's just a, a number, some flags gotta end up on top, but it would make sense to have the one that's most popular. Yeah, because sure. right, for example, right now I am uh, slightly zoomed in, not the most, on like uh, uh, Lib the region, like uh, the area east of Monroe, uh, or Monrovia, I mean. <laughs> And it says like nine Swedish division and one British, and then I zoom in one step, and it turns in that it turns out that oh, it's actually just one Swedish division, and eight of those are American. So it's like, well, <laughs> oh, are you you're actually fighting there now? I wonder. Yeah, I I managed to to start the time a bit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, to go uh, for are you fighting. attacking with one division or? I don't know. Don't because know what you're doing is. that against twenty one divisions, that might be. A it's Erwin um, Rommel. Blame him. I'm innocent. I'm innocent of all charges. Ah. Judge. Damn it! Now that I've read quite a lot about the German paratroopers uh, or Fallschirmjäger, I, I'm really into the idea of doing some some uh, para, like using uh, the parachuter troopers, oopers. Uh, Fallschirmjäger. Yes, but uh, I'm I'm not that good at. Like, or I haven't really used them so far in the game, so I'm, I'm a bit unsure of... I, did, I mean, I did uh, use them to grab Crete, but I didn't really perform a, a an actual... Paratroop, you know... Paratroop invasion, yeah, I just used them as infantry, which is... They, it's basically, you know, you use them the same way you use naval invasion, as in... Uh, if you hold over, like, click any R general on mm -hmm. the list there, and then you'll have the, you know, the battle plan thing. Yeah. And next to the naval invasion, you have the paratroop order. Ah, and of it course. And it says the steps. There's two steps. Of course. Have, uh, you know, uh, some paratroopers at an airbase. Click on it. And then right-click where you want them to go. So I need to be near an airbase, at least. Yeah, and you also need transport planes. Yeah, yeah, which I don't really have. So, but... Uh, I actually that... do have transport planes. I have four of them. Which where is, do um, I have many... transport planes? I, I don't think I do. But uh, then again, I would have started with some, right? Four plus. Oh, well. I really need to like close this pocket now of, of uh, American resistance here in West Africa. Do you, wait, what is this Baltic Sea? That's too far away. There's air support standing by. I might, might as well be in. Holy shit! Oberbayern as well. 
Okay, we need to readjust this. It's about merging these air wings together so we don't have some bloody many of them. There we go, and perhaps send some different places. Maybe this one can go to Normandy as well. Tactical bombers can go to Pas de Calais. I don't know, sure. Why Calais. Not? Yeah, Calais. Yeah. I need some more fighters there too, I think. So, 300 fighters shall go there as well. So yeah, I'm just trying to, to summon my my air force to deal with all of this. Yeah. Research slot available, which is always nice. Uh, I do think, though, that the invasion of the Soviet Union kind of needs to happen sooner rather than later. Ugh, it, yeah. We need to just uh, sta stabilize, stabilize ice. <laughs> Uh, Africa first, though, but uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. We'll... I, I actually now ex accepted finally the Bohemian Empire wanting to send me, you know, their army, and mm -hmm. I added them to to uh, the little guy. What's his name again? Oh, now everything is is kept lagging. Gerd von Rundstedt, yes, Gerd von yes. Rundstedt. I don't even know if he's, the, is, if he's the best leader for this. Maximilian von, von Weichs would be probably the best. He's got six in skill and he has four different medals. So he's pretty good. Uh, but everyone is just generals that are good. Gerd von Rutzat is probably the best I have. <laughs> when you and I... Uh, we, uh, just fun to mention that... Um, uh, when you and I have... We, we're playing this private play... Or private, but we're not broadcasting that playthrough of me playing Germany and you playing Italy. And I'm, I keep... Uh, you know, I'm kind of like Hitler in that playthrough, aren't I? Because I keep sacking von Rundstedt and I blame everything on him, just like in real life. Yeah. And I am tempted to do the same. But I don't think it will. It's just, he just has that good. face that you want to sack him. Or poor, punch him. Poor Rundstedt. Yeah. Poor poor Rundstedt. Um, what should we do about Turkey, by the way? Should we invade it? <laughs> I mean, we're terrible people sitting here like, hmm. Yeah. Well, what about this? Should we terrible. invade Asia, perhaps? Uh, we do have kind Bulgaria of. on our side. We have pretty much everyone on our side. Except yeah. for Greece. Switzerland is also... A pain in the I mean, if if I look at my sort of ambitions or so in terms of like the Mediterranean, you know, if I want to do like kind of what Mussolini intended, not that I'm saying that I should do that, but um, that sounded almost like you know, uh, uh, what's the cat food that you know what cats want, basically like Mussolini intended, could be like something like that. What whiskers? Yes, yes. Whatever, whiskers. You know, whiskers. so, yeah. I think the slogan there is, if the cat itself can choose or something. Oh, yeah, like. that's that's right, that's right. Or I don't know if it's like that in English, but still. Uh, okay, I don't really know, see the connection, but I'm fine. No, me neither, me neither. <laughs> actually. It's kind um, of like that cat food commercial. No, it's, actually, it's like you can invading use, Turkey you can is not the like same kind of slogan as in... Uh, <laughs> For an invasion you know, of Turkey. Yes, as Mussolini intended. <laughs> contains turkey yeah can you imagine you know like ads and stuff like that supporting that invasion invade turkey as mussolini intended uh, yeah well kind of uh anyway so, to answer the question I, I mean i'm kind of interested in iran eventually so uh, but i mean turkey makes sense also from a mediterranean point of view and also if we want to take that into account the Greece. whole uh, Soviet Union thing, because obviously gaining Turkey would mean a border against the Soviet yes, Union. Yes, and I am I'm very tempted to start my invasion of uh, Soviet Union now, yeah. by the way. So, okay. uh, well, I should probably I, try to uh, adapt to that idea. Uh, I don't really know where I have divisions that could be relevant. Uh, you're all fighting in uh, down there, aren't you? Yeah, I think... Are all in your entire army fighting down there? Or I, yeah, I'm looking. Like I, I have uh, three divisions in in uh, Italian uh, Afghanistan, <laughs> which is funny. Um, or like Baghdad mm. over there, or Iraq. I mean, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm I'm stupid. Uh, but three divisions won't be enough against Turkey, so I'd need. Ugh, I don't really know. I I have a lot of divisions tied up in. Uh, in Africa right now, and I need to redo this front, really. 
But yeah, hang on, they are I actually... Need to fix up some sort of airplane for us. Tactical bombers. There we go. Let's just take all of them. And... Let's go for... Oh god, I have so many close air support. It's insane. So close air support and mass it will be. Okay, I have a couple of uh, tank divisions here. What should they do? What? Close air support and then some more close air support. Okay, maybe not so many in one. Maybe 500 in one and then 500 in one. Okay, I have so many close air support. It's bloody insane. Uh, we can invite to faction. Naturally, Spain now, fi finally. Yeah, actually. fine. So, we will invite them. They have accepted our proposal. Excellent! I do have four divisions in... Uh, in uh, what, what was that, Gibraltar. by the way? What? Was it your um, Italian or something? What was? Ex excellent. <laughs> Aha, uh, I think that was my Spanish, but hey, hang on, am I seeing things correctly? Does Spain have 180 divisions? Maybe. It it reads like that if I zoom out. Well, again, we just said that that was reliable, um, but... Yeah, they, I mean, you can, you, can, you could check more properly. You click on Spain and click on state owner and then details. 205 divisions they have in total. Uh, even more. How is so that they have possible? more divisions than you. Yeah, d twice. How is that possible? I what am I? Know. Well, they've been well, at peace. Depends on what they con what it con you know consists of. That's so this true. Motorized is. Uh, let's see if we can find one infantry, uh, three infantry brigades, and one support, uh, something. So, so okay, so not very impressive. Yeah, there, there are a ton of them. Just not very strong, unfortunately for us, I suppose. Yep. So yeah, I'm I'm tempted now for this whole invasion thing. That I have been thinking of for a very, very long time now. Uh, perhaps this northwest can go for eastern Poland. And in eastern Poland they will uh, do some nice, nasty stuff. It's what do you mean by nasty that? Stuff. I don't know. Uh, okay, I have... Oh, uh, hmm, my navy is getting a bit more sorted out. I have a couple of cruisers ready now. Th that's good because my navy has really been left behind. <laughs> as with pretty much everything in my... I was going to say life, but nation. Yes. Uh, so East Africa. Hmm. Well, this can go to Danzig. Danzig, they go to the Baltic states. But I need some air support there. I need some air wings. Can I get some fighters, perhaps? Northern France. Well, I need to station them somewhere. Where? where? Well, Warsaw. Works out pretty well, as it turns out. Hmm. So Baltic states, there we go. Some 400 airplanes. I so at least I have some air force. Yeah, I, I was shocked at how many airplanes you had. I thought I had a decent amount of airplanes, but there, that was nothing compared to what you uh, had. Yeah, and then look at what I still have left in like France and in Benelux region. I, I still have airplanes. Not you know actively up, but they are stationed there in, in airports. Because I, I still need to defend from the British. And uh, the National of Spain wants to join our war, so sure. <laughs> German-Polish war. I like that it's sort of like, you know, it doesn't exactly sound like World War II. Then again, I saw a terrible documentary trailer recently where some American voiceover said, World War II has started, <laughs> as if that's what they said in uh, September 1939. Maybe they did. You would have but, have to be very pessimistic to call it that early. I mean, when G Germany just invaded Poland, but fine. Well, have we, maybe we should look through newspapers and stuff and see what they call it. Maybe they call it the German-Polish War. Yeah, I actually found a, a newspaper when I was uh, helping my parents move a few years ago. That was from 8th of May or whatever it was, 1945, or like maybe 10th of May or something, because it said like that Hitler was dead and that... Uh, Dönitz was taking over and stuff, and that's pretty like weird stuff if you think about it. Like you, you wouldn't expect to see that on a headline, because well, certainly not these days. But like you know, it's so to to our generation, it's so evident that it's history. You know, you can't really comprehend even that it was like actual news back in the day. True. That is true. I what do love 
old newspapers like that. You, you get a glimpse into... Because newspapers really are sort of a window to the past, I think, in that sense. What a beautiful set. Yes. Beautiful. What is that crazy naval plan? Okay, it just disappeared. It was between uh, Holland and uh, the Faroe Islands. <laughs> well, you can never trust these invasion plans that they do. It's probably... Uh, and now there's something, something that... other, like something similarly insane from the Philippines to... Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Wait, uh, okay, okay I, we need to have a war council. Okay. We okay. need to have a war council. In Africa. In they Africa. are seemingly br breaking through now again in, in uh, Liberia. So I think that my force will be... You know, I will remove... You will handle the, the thing that is from Dakar, right? And yeah. I will handle what's in Liberia. Sure. My army will dedicate itself to Liberia. Your army will dedicate yourself to the, Brit the um, British Americans up there yeah. in Senegal. Anglo-Saxons. Yeah. So can you handle that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, th I think I can. Uh, they are offering quite stiff resistance. They have about 20 divisions there. I have about... Actually, do I, do I have less? I thought I had a lot more. Um, Maybe you do. I have about... Can I zoom out a bit? I have about 14, 20, 23, 26, 27, something like that. So I'll, I'll just concentrate all my effort on on uh, engaging those 20 divisions. Yeah. Well, I only have uh, about 17 divisions, I think. Uh, 10 divisions there in the vicinity, but some of them were... Oh, wait. No! Did you declare war on Iraq? Iraq? Damn, that's but bad news. Iraq is already occupied. Norway, Jordan. Wait, oh yeah, yeah, hang on. I rank. Hang on. That's so now they declare war on me. all of the allies for some reason. Who? So yeah, so they're, uh, yeah they're at war with all the allies. Are they idiots? T take Mosul and Baghdad. I have Baghdad. Well, you don't officially own it, but you control it. That's the difference. Yeah, but still. Oh, I have Kuwait. I haven't really thought of that before. You have not, seemingly. Wait, what is... What? Oh, it is my submarines that are being silly. Uh, Unda El Qaeda. The Kriegsmarine. I like the, the Kriegsmarine consists of... Not two, not three, but one ship. <laughs> one. Uh, what? Soviet Union is going Iran. crazy with the invasion. They really want uh, the Middle East. It seems. I yeah, mean, Iran, I can sort of see why they would want that. That makes total sense with the Soviet Union. That kind it of does. reminds us, I mean, that's what we took in our Soviet uh, playthrough of Victoria 2. We took Iran. Yes. Parts of it. Yeah. What is that country? Parts of it that we wanted. And let's see, improved artillery. Now we have advanced artillery. Uh, but I don't like that I have lost a bunch of factories so, now, so I ha can't even... Have you noticed that Norway is uh, at war with you, or us? Um, I have not, actually. So, you know, care careful about Sweden. H have you seen Sweden's new capital, by the way? <laughs> under your, I have not done that either. Under your leadership. Oh yeah, I have actually fallen. <laughs> Slightly odd, but I guess it makes sense from a sort of center standpoint. Well, it... it uh, that was the capital, I think, the, the left major one after uh, Stockholm fell. Mm -hmm. Sure, they had it in, at, up in the north in Luleå, but I don't think anyone gave a shit up there. Yeah. So, I think I will just have to send some troops to Oslo. And suddenly, is this Japan? Yeah, Japan just uh, prepared the invasion force for Norway. Take a look. Fantastic! Like it looks, it looks uh, rather professional. I gotta say, but yeah, getting the troops team. to support it. What do absolutely they have? nothing to support it. Yeah. Oh no! This now look at their advance now in Sweden. Ugh. You're right. This is horrible. This is quite awful. I'm just happy I was right about something. Uh, claims on France? No, that's not really. Befriend Romania completed. What kind of. What, well, I'm uh, preparing now my whole thing of war with the USSR. I think I will go for naval carriers, see how that fares. I haven't really done that before in these games, so. Uh, 